Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the week of the 21st of November. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings so may not resonate for everybody. Do take what does and leave what doesn't. So for this week I'll be reading from the coffee cup and then also I'll be pulling out some cards towards the end. Uh, this is um, a vintage style of the uh, right away tarot deck. <laughs> All right, Taurus, let's begin. Taurus, Taurus, okay. You've been trying to find some kind of balance, I see here. It's some equality you've been trying to look for. It could be in a workplace uh, or just also some personal situations between you and another. Um, it's like there's a great persistence that you have. You don't want to necessarily give in to a situation, but there is a point where you're like, you know, I've kind of had enough of this. Should I just pack it all in, you know, and walk away? Because I do see walking away from a situation where you felt like you were at a disadvantage. And um, it was just kind of, it felt negative. And you are removing yourself away from any negativity, which is good. You're not giving up if you walk away from this. It's not giving up. I see here your belief system. Like you have a lot of belief in your vision. And that keeps you going and going and going. A lot of belief in your vision. You see things very clearly for yourself. Projecting it. Sometimes, you know, you feel like things get in the way. Um, but I do see something is being stopped and you are, you are kind of you know, kind of eliminating as much um, negativity from your life as you can. You're like, there's an awareness there that you have, very, very aware. You know, some of you have kind of like taken a step back and realized, well, okay, I can't, can, like, can't continue in this situation with a struggle and me giving so much more than the other. Um, and it's like you're trying to find your feet and trying to find yourself in a place where there is, um, you know, there, there's, it's like you're not the only one just working. There's an equal give and take here. There is, you're taking control of a situation. If you felt like something has been going really, really slow, because I do see something has been traveling very slow, but it's like, um, there's more control happening and you're getting answers as to when things um, should be put into place, when things are happening, why it's taking so long and so forth. I see lots of paperwork as well, lots of things to be signed for. Um, I see also some of you kind of uh, thinking of traveling traveling quite far, I see a lot of distance, like a long, long distance um, travel, long distance flight or, or something like that you could be preparing for. Um, you also have your eyes set on, on something that will feel like a prize. For some of you, I do actually see that's a car, like you have your eyes set on some, some sort of vehicle that you really want to attain for yourself in some way and you're determined to get it, whatever it could be, but I do see a car for some. Um, you are going to meet your match, Taurus. There's something here where you're meeting your match and the other person is very, very happy about it. I mean, and by the way, I'm not really seeing this as something romantic. I'm seeing this as something that's challenge. It's a good challenge for you in like some sort of work environment um, and it's it's it will this is where you find now this is now it's all making sense it's connecting where there is that um, equal give and take you know in this situation um, but you're very very good at keeping your head down and keep working as well um, and you're pushing through. I see you're pushing through. You're pushing through. And there's some sort of... Um, I'm seeing... It, it, there could be some judginess 
some so, somebody or some people that are kind of judgmental around you and you're just like really um, shutting that down very, very quickly, very quickly, that you put yourself in a, in a higher position. You now have the upper hand here. I do see a situation where you're able to relax as well. Um, there is a hope here where you, you want somebody to join you in some sort of trip or a break, you know? Um, you're very good at doing things on your own, but it's like you're kind of really wanting to share, to share your success, to share this kind of time away with somebody. Um, and it, 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 it could be romantic, but also it just could be with, with just people that you enjoy being around and people that are close to you as well. Um, you're definitely being able to see things a lot clearer. You're understanding, for some of you, there is some sort of connection here. You would like to call it a relationship, but it's not quite. It's some kind of situation, situationship, I, I suppose. But I do see something needs to be worked out before you can take the next step, or before they can take the next step. It's really kind of like them to feel and to sort something out within themselves in, in order for them to... to um, go any further if that makes sense but you're like I said you're very resilient you're passionate and there's a lot of patience there and there's something that you're going to be proven right about and it's just like a matter of time here where it's like yes okay Taurus you you kind of like win a certain battle you know there's massive progress okay let's see what the cards have for you We have the Knight of Wands. Okay. The Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Taurus, please. Card fell on second. Mm. And the Hermit. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's exactly what I said. The Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Hermit. Wow. It's like, yeah, you're, you're definitely, you know, um, you have that persistence, you push through, you keep at it, but then at some point, here we go, the confirmation, you are walking away from something that is negative. There's something, it's like, how much more can you try to control this? You don't want it to always be constant hard work. It shouldn't be that way, you know, and you're definitely going with what you believe is right and you're setting things out to make it right as well. Here with the Hermit card shows that, you know, you are also taking some time out, possibly, even though you, maybe you want to share it with somebody and you, there's things in your memory, in your mind here, but probably there is healing to do, but on your own in that sense. But you are using um, good judgment, good choices, using your wisdom as well. There's something that has been, you know, um, you're paying attention to something that's very, very important and needed needing to to be worked on and to look look at three of swords and the moon Taurus the three of swords and the moon and we come from um, a place where after this walking away after this really looking inside really wanting I'm get I keep getting control because you don't want to be continuously in a situation where you feel like you have lost control, you're out of control. You don't know whether you're coming or going or, 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 or whoever you're involved in or whatever kind of situation you're involved in. But there are certain things that, that needs to be faced and it's not always going to be, you know, bright and sunny. But needing to happen in order for you to set a foot onto this new journey, onto this new beginning here with the moon. Some things need to be, you know, um, paying close attention to. Like I was saying, there's a lot of things. Clarity is going to come through. So this is, this is positive for you because you're seeing things clearer. You know the path that you're going to walk on and there's no more rubble in the way. You're clearing that path. So this moon is illuminating 
Oh, and there is a path here. It's illuminating your path to make you understand your situation a lot better, to make you understand and make you see things clearer, things that were unknown it's com is coming through. It's coming through. And, you know, working through that will, will only prove, Six of Cups, will only prove... Um, you right, like I was saying, there's gonna something through this three of swords and the moon is gonna prove you right with something that you felt for a very long time and you knew, you knew about this. But you're coming through in a much better way. Things will feel a lot simpler, easier. Things will feel a lot more simple, not constant challenge, not always having. You know, like I was saying, it's like, can we not just go with a nice flow? Can we not just have this agreement? Can we, and your vision as well. Here we go, here with the Six of Cups is what I'm seeing here. It's to do with your, your vision, things becoming a lot easier. You're understanding. You've healed from whatever it is in, before, in the past. Um, and now you're setting a foot into this new journey here with the Six of Cups. And you are keeping the um, close people. This is, like everything that I spoke in the in the card, but the cards have come out, which is which is wonderful because we we start here because this is the end, and now we start with something abundant, with something new, with some with people that you trust, that you love, um, and now you can just go ahead without many things at the back of your mind and having to worry this and that. There's a yes answer coming through. And I am getting, again, progress. Something you've been working hard on, you've been waiting to hear from, lots of progress happening from this, from this moment on, continuously as well. And you are starting to fulfill your soul with, with things that matter, that is beautiful, that is really good for you, um, including people like the soulmate kind of connection, however you may see that. Um, so definitely, again, a yes answer coming through with this. I do love it. So things will be a lot easier. Thank you, Taurus, so very much for being here. I truly hope that this helped. And um, thank you all so much for your support. Please do take care of yourselves. I love you all. Until next time.